Hello friends, I am Nayashik from Logdo.com and in this video, I'll show you how you can set up your FTP account with FileZilla. Setting up your FTP account is really easy and very helpful. It will, you know, allow you to upload your files on your server, on your web server. So let's do uh, that and let's see how to do that. First, you will need to install FileZilla. So just type and search for FileZilla on Google. You'll see this uh, uh, page, this first website is filezillaproject.org. Click on that and select any one of these if you're using Windows, if you're using for any one of these. Okay, so I'm using Windows, I'll click on this link. Again, click on download FileZilla server. Now you can open that and install the software. I already did that. So what I'll do, I'll directly open FileZilla because I have already installed it. Okay, so when you install it, this is how you will see. Now go to your cut this thing first. Now go to your C panel. So if you don't know what how to go to your C panel, don't worry. Just type in your website name. For example, for me, it is blogto.com. And after that, just put a forward slash and type in C panel. Okay, so this is same. The steps which I'm showing you are same for any web hosting. So whether if you're using HostGator, in motion tmd bluehost whatever hosting company you're using these steps are all the same you have to repeat the same step and it will help you okay now put in your username and password or uh, you might have got this uh, in your email when you first signed up with your hosting company now click on login Okay, guys, so this is the C panel and as a because I because I said you earlier that you know the steps will be same for any different hosting company is that uh, the reason behind that is that all of the hosting company use the C panel okay which is the same thing you see the same options over there now here you you will have to find for FTP accounts here it is okay so you have to click on FTP accounts now scroll down now here you will see some ftp accounts which are already made now you will have to select this one okay it will have your username over here so i have my username over here this is the ftp the main ftp account okay now besides that you will see this option which says configure ftp client click on that option now scroll down you will have three options First one is FileZilla and under that you have two options. You'll have to click on the first one which says FTP configuration file and right click on that and click on save link as I am saving this on my desktop and click on save. So once you're done that open your FileZilla now click on file and here you'll see different options. Now you have to click on import. Now select the file which you just downloaded. So I have that file on my desktop. This is the one. Select that file. Click on open. Click on OK. OK, the selected categories have been imported. Click on OK again. Now again, click on file and click on site manager. Now you'll see that this thing is present. So this is the one which we just downloaded. Now earlier, what used to happen, you have to put in all this host name, port name, username and all these things, but that is not happening, which is good. You know, you just import it and everything is done for you. Now what you have to do, you have to, you know, just uh, sell if you if you don't want to put in your password again and again, you can just select normal and put in your passport password at once or you can select ask for password now whenever you want you will try to connect it will ask you for your password and you have to put in the password of your c panel okay so this is uh, this uh, the password through which you access your c panel that is the password that you will have to put okay now once you are done select that and click on connect put in your password over here and click on ok Again, click on OK. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, now you can access your C panel or uh, you can access your server from here. You have all the files. Now, don't play around with uh, all these things. Uh, you know, you'll see this public HTML. Just, you know, import and export things over there if you want to do anything with this. Uh, or if you have created some uh, subdomain or different websites, then you'll see. For example, I've, cr I've created many. 
like this so i have created this website giftonics.in and different websites so you'll see all those options over there okay so if you want to make any changes to that website if you want to uh, you know upload any file in that website you can upload that in that folder okay guys so i hope this video was helpful i hope you guys uh, now know how to install filezilla how to configure it the easy way if you guys have any problem please let me know in the comment section below so that i can help you if you guys find this video helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel also give a thumbs up to this video and you know share this video with your friends that would really help me i would really appreciate that thanks a lot for watching guys see you soon